Hello everyone, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and in this video I will show you how to set up Surfshark VPN with WireGuard protocol on the new PCWRT Wi-Fi 6 router. Running a VPN on a router allows you to protect selected devices on your network without dealing with the apps on each individual device. Also, sometimes there's devices that you want to protect that aren't capable of running a VPN application. And again, anything that you run through this router can be protected. This PCWRT router comes with a ton of useful features, which I write about in my article on the Troy Point website that I'm linking to in the video description. The model that I'm using is the AX1800, which sells for only $149, which is substantially less than other VPN routers on the market. Plus, this one supports Wi-Fi 6, and WireGuard protocol, which provides blazing fast download and upload speeds. In the video description, you will also find information on a discount being offered to TroyPoint fans like you. Now I'm using a Windows PC in this video, and I've already gone through the initial router setup, and it's very similar to other routers on the market. Again, all the important setup details are included in my article on the TroyPoint website that I'm linking to below. Now the first thing I want to show you is how you can create virtual networks on the router. Go to settings, wireless, and you're going to notice right out of the box we already have 2.4 and 5 gigahertz wireless networks available. And you'll see here it's already on 2.4. You can see the information about 2.4. You can name it whatever you'd like here. You can set the encryption and Wi-Fi password. And then same with the 5 gigahertz band. Now, like I said, there's additional Wi-Fi networks that we can create. Maybe we want to create a Wi-Fi network that's not protected by the VPN. So you can take advantage of full download and upload speeds. And this will also allow you to use websites and services that aren't compatible with VPNs. Creating a network is simple. I'm going to create a 5 gigahertz network. You're going to see I'm under 5 gigahertz. I'm going to press the plus sign and you're going to notice the different networks that we can add. We can add up to four virtual networks. For this one, I'm just going to choose X1. Now I'm going to name it. I'm going to call this PCWRT-NoVPN. And we'll make sure that this one is not protected by a VPN. I'm going to set my Wi-Fi encryption. And now I'm going to click Save. Okay, changes have been successfully applied. I'm going to go back into the 5 gigahertz section, and you're going to see the X1 virtual network has now been set up. Now it's important to point out, I can't go to the 2.4 gigahertz now and set up X1. Even though it's available in this list, you can only be assigning it to one of the bands, either 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. Now some of you may also want to create a guest network for people that visit your home. You can definitely do that with this one here. And the cool thing about this is that you can then go back to settings, network, and in this area here you can tell the router what you want to be able to access through these various networks. LAN is the default network that comes with the device and you can see here we're allowing LAN to see all of the networks right now on the router. But if you set up a guest network, more than likely you wouldn't want the people on the guest network being able to connect to different devices on the LAN network. So by doing that, you can isolate that by choosing only guest. They're only going to be able to access the guest portion of the network. Something else you can do, there are three LAN ports on the router and you can come up here and you can assign each port to whatever virtual network you want it to use. So let's assume we want to set up the no VPN access on port number two. You can easily do that by coming up here choosing X1 because we are going to set X1 as not connected. Another really cool feature. Okay, let's go ahead now and set up Surfshark VPN with WireGuard protocol. Okay, once you're logged into your Surfshark account, on the left side, you're going to want to go into VPN and then Manual Setup, click Router, and then you're going to see the different protocols that we can set up. 
Now, the reason we want to use WireGuard is it's so much faster, especially on routers. Running a VPN with either OpenVPN or even IKEV2 on a router make them extremely slow. Download and upload speeds are terrible. And the great thing about Surfshark is that they allow for manual WireGuard connections and setup. Most VPNs do not allow for this. So what I want to do is click WireGuard. I'm going to click I don't have a key pair. And now it's asking me to create a name for this key pair. I like labeling these as the location that I'm connecting to or the server that I'm connecting to with the VPN. This one is going to be for Chicago. You can create multiple key pairs within the Surfshark account. And this just makes it easier for me to know which location I'm dealing with. So I'm going to call this Chicago. I'm going to click next and now I'm going to click generate a new key pair and here are the keys that it has assigned to me public key and private key now this is very very important I'm going to copy the public key right now by just clicking this copy button and that's going to be copied to my clipboard I'm going to use that here in a little bit next I want to click choose a location and this is where I'm going to choose Chicago. And the reason I'm using Chicago is due to the fact that this is the closest server to my physical location, which is going to provide me with the fastest download and upload speeds when the VPN is activated. So I'm going to click this here. And this is going to give me my configuration information for WireGuard. Now, the great thing about this is we can download a config file. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to save this to my downloads folder on my computer. And now I'm going to come back over to my PC WRT admin panel. I want to go to apps, WireGuard. I want to make sure that I'm in the client area, which I am. I'm going to click add for connections. I'm going to call this Chicago. And now I'm going to click upload WireGuard config. I'm going to click browse and I'm going to the same folder where I downloaded the config file under my downloads folder. Highlight that, click open. I don't need a decryption password. I'm going to click OK. You're going to see when I do that, it fills in most of this information. Now, if you remember earlier, I copied the client public key. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that here now. We don't need to worry about pre-shared key. We leave that empty. And now I'm going to click OK. I'm going to move down and click Save. Click OK. OK, now I want to assign this VPN to one of my networks. If you remember, the default network that comes with the device is the LAN network. And then we created the X1 network where we don't want this using the VPN. So I'm going to click LAN. We want to apply the Surfshark WireGuard VPN connection to LAN. I'm going to click Auto Start. And the reason I want to do that is if for any reason the router reboots, whenever it comes back on, we want to make sure that it also fires up the VPN. And now I'm going to click the Play button. You'll see it's yellow, and that should turn into a green dot once it's connected to the VPN, which it just did. Now, it's important for me to point out, if for any reason this VPN is disconnected, the internet will not work. And we want that because that is a kill switch feature that will completely shut down the internet if this network is not protected. So that's an awesome feature. All right, to make sure that these changes have taken place, I'm going to come down here and click Save. And whenever you save anything, you'll notice that the VPN does disconnect and then it reconnects. So let's go ahead and test this now. I'm going to open another tab and I'm going to go to dnsleaktest.com. And you're going to see there, it is connecting to the VPN WireGuard server. It's giving me the Chicago location. I'm not personally located in Chicago and that's not my IP address up here at the top. So I know that this is working. I'm going to click standard test and what I'm looking for here is to make sure that there's nothing private coming through here about my connection. 
whether that be any types of IP addresses or DNS addresses, and I'm not seeing anything. Every, everything here is completely private, so there are no leaks. Okay, let's test the download speed now. I'm going to go to troypoint.com forward slash ST for speed test. I'm going to click go. And as you can see there, we're getting blazing fast download speeds. And this is through a router. And that's all due to the WireGuard protocol. Now, if I was doing this with other VPN protocols, such as OpenVPN, it would probably be around 40 or 50 megabits per second. That's the power of WireGuard. Okay, now for the last part of this video, I want to move over to my Fire TV Stick 4K and connect to both of the VPN networks that we have on this router to show you how that works on another device. Okay, I'm going to move over hover over the gear icon, move down, go into network. I'm gonna click see all networks. And in this list, you're gonna see the two networks that are on the PCWRT router. The one that we created is PCWRT no VPN. And then we have the PCWRT 5G and PCWRT 2G. Now, some of you may question the difference between the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands. 5 gigahertz usually gives you better speed. However, it doesn't cover as long of distances as 2.4 does. 2.4 gigahertz is going to give you less speed, but it's going to cover a larger area. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go into the no VPN option, the one that we created. It's going to ask me for my password that I set, and I'm going to type that in. Okay, I'm now connected. I'm going to go back to the home screen. I'm going to go into Analyti. The reason I like using Analyti because it shows your IP address and there's a VPN check in there as well. And I can already see on the left side it's showing my IP address that has been issued by my internet service provider. So I know I'm not currently protected by the VPN. Okay, back to the home screen. Now let's connect... to the five gigahertz wire guard network. And that's this one right here. Again, I'll have to input a password and now we're connected. Back into Analyti. Very impressive speeds. As you can see here, I'm almost getting just as fast speeds as I am with the open network without the VPN. And on the left side, my IP address has changed it's showing Data Camp Limited. That's the server that Surfshark is using through the Chicago connection. And now when I come down, click Check VPN, you'll notice it says this connection is not using VPN software. And that's due to the fact that I'm not connected to the VPN app on my Fire TV device. It's being protected through the router. That's why it's showing that. But in looking at this, there is no personal information that's being broadcast through the screen. So I do know that my VPN is working properly on the router. So there you go, guys. That is a quick rundown on how WireGuard VPN with Surfshark works on this PCWRT router. It's important to note that this VPN router does a lot more than just this. You can set it up to kill ads. You can do monitoring. There's a lot that you can do. And again, my article that I'm linking to in the video description dives into these features and you'll also find a valuable discount for this router if you are interested in the video description as well guys thank you very much for watching this video please be sure to hit the thumbs up button subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified when i drop new tutorials like this in the future as always have an awesome day and thanks for following troy point